everyone, Kat here. Hope you're all doing really well. And well, if you enjoy it, make sure and hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss any more bookish fun. Or if you just like animals, just wait till Wednesday and I'll have something cute to make you smile. But today I'm gonna do something I don't normally have to do, thankfully. Usually when I do book reviews, I'm raving about it, or at least, you know, I have a few good things to say. Today's book, no, th this one's gonna be a rant. I will warn y'all right off. I, I am mad at this book. I mean, look at it. This is Atlantis. God, we got divers and we're underwater. And it seems like a really cool freaking time, right? It's something to do with like Atlantis and we're going to be underwater diving and exploring and having adventures. No, we're not. I mean, if you read the back, it does tell you in the summary that it has, Atlantis has something to do with the Nazis. It, I guess we can kind of pick out it is a little bit sketchy on the cover, but Atlantis, like the first 40 pages were really promising and I was loving it. Apparently this is a sequel to something where they already found Atlantis and now they're sneakishly, yeah, they main guy got in trouble, took some folks off. He ain't supposed to be there, but he's diving into a active volcano before this chamber that was like, some ceremonial place for the Atlanteans was, and there's proof of that. And they've got their, like, they almost get sucked down and die when he's in there with his partner, and his poor little robot gets killed that his partner, you know, designed, and so he's all upset. And, and that's pretty much the last that we hear of Atlantis. And so it's like, oh, well, we need to find Atlantis because we need to find this weapon that they have that this guy wants to sell to the highest bidder because it's somehow tied to the Nazis which is you know our like we pulled our Egyptian friend in to come find because he was like doing a thing and digging up in Troy because apparently you know I'm fairly certain that I remember them going hey Homer wasn't just completely making this up we really did find like where Troy might have actually been, but I'm pretty sure that was during like my lifetime. And yes, I lie when I tell people I'm only three years old, but I ain't over like 200 because otherwise I would not be using this dinky setup and holding my phone to record this. I'd have the Kardashians and the rest of the narcissists paying out, you know, the wazoo for my secret to looking like this at over 200. But according to this book, Troy was found you know, in the, like, barely early 1800s, and it's clearly was created, like, as a new home from the Atlanteans, who are advanced and the best people ever, so of course that's where the Nazis came from, and they were, you know, doing all these secret, you know, excavations and explorations to find their origins to prove that they're Atlanteans, and that's pretty much what this whole thing is, of... It's some German guy that likes Egyptology but is in on Nazi digs in Atlantis to try to prove that not all Germans suck, we're not all Nazis, I have to make up for my past by, you know, proving that, hey, we can find other cool stuff and I'm friends with this guy that likes Atlantis and that's all the heck it is. It's just... Here's, we're going to talk about the history of this battle and that battle and that guy, and we're going to flash back like we were, you know, in on their meetings with this guy and that guy, and, like, the, what does this have to do with Atlantis? Like, this is just, you know, a couple hundred pages of Nazi history, and then, like, the last 30 pages are, hey, we got back to it, and, like, we, the Nazis really did find the new Atlantis place, and they hid the weapon there, but we beat them to it and we offed the guy that was gonna sell it to the new Nazis beforehand and you know that's that and there's one other really stupid thing about this like the our main guy has a daughter apparently which he didn't know about until a couple years ago so <laughs> sucker you came into it when she's already in her pissed off teens he's like you know he's been she's been around for like three years now and he's like, oh, well, you know, I had to off some guys in the last book because they kidnapped her and I would do it again because you don't mess with my daughter. But yeah, she's still in high school and like just turned 17.
but I'm totally cool with her dating my employee that's you know, 27 and apparently was staying at her house with her for a few weeks this summer after, you know, creepishly talking about, you know, checking her out while she was working under him at the dig in Troy. Like, most guys are like, nope, nobody's good enough for my daughter. She ain't die dating anyone until she's 30 or I'm dead, whichever comes last. And he's just like, yeah, she's a high schooler, but she could totally date this guy that was in middle school while she was still learning to crawl around in dirty diapers. Like, what the? I, I know we're pretending that Atlantis is real, but come on. What the hell? So, yeah, this is getting unhauled if I don't just, like, throw it in a wood chipper that I thankfully don't have access to. Cause, mm, piss me off. And I have a second book by this guy, and I'm not even sure I'm going to touch that one. Because if this is, like, realistic and everything goes together, what? Yeah, I, you know I'm just so mad I'm having trouble with words. So we're going to cut it off there. And hopefully the other stuff I have to tell you about will be better. Because I do have urban fantasy and some other stuff going on. And so far I'm enjoying them. So I hope your reading adventure is going better. And I will see you soon. Bye. Happy reading.